Welcome back, everyone. This is GTA Failure. I have made a Google Sheet, which is associated with this video series. A lot of the tabs I just uh, straight up copied from somebody else, and I gave credit where credit was due. Uh, some of the tabs I edited myself, and uh, this particular tab I pretty much made myself. Uh, this is the Daily Plan tab. You can see it right down here at the bottom. And I just want to show you uh, a couple of uh, representative days so that you understand uh, what this series is about and kind of how I use this plan to guide me as, uh, as I made the videos that you're going to watch ahead. So, for example, if we take a look at day number four, uh, there's a reminder here to make a backup copy of your save folder from the end of day number three. Uh, day number four is when the first house upgrade is completed, and so we want to move the bed closer to the door just for easy uh, access to the door every morning. Uh, because we've completed the first house upgrade, we now have a kitchen, and uh, there's already coffee in our possession, and so we can make our very first uh, recipe. Sorry, we, uh, we can make our very first cooking dish. Uh, we actually had already purchased the espresso recipe. I think it's called the triple shot espresso recipe. And so we make our first uh, cooking dish right here uh, before we even leave the house. Then we're going to craft 19 crab pots, specifically 19 for uh, reasons that, uh, that come up later in the day. A reminder to check the mail, uh, set up the furnaces according to a map that I made. So uh, I will describe this map in another video. Uh, but anyway, we start putting furnaces exactly where I say we should put them and then use those furnaces to make some bars, copper bars, iron bars. we got to water some parsnips. This is actually the very last day of manual watering in the entire video series. Then it tells you what to pack uh, because it's really important as you make these trips out that, uh, that you have exactly the items that you need uh, for all the tasks that you're going to be doing on your little journey off of the farm and also that you have enough space in your backpack uh, for uh, any items that you're going to be picking up along the way. And, um, and so I, I try to give you a packing list every time uh, it's important to make sure you have the right items with you. It says uh, buy stacks of items at the blacksmiths and then upgrade the pickaxe. Then go to the general store and buy exactly this number of exactly these crops. And I have reasons for choosing these that have to do with the uh, particular farming plan that I have. Then you go to the carpenter and you buy stacks of items uh, from her, uh, maybe including extra wood because you're going to craft a bunch of chests. In fact, maybe even build 35 chests at the carpenter's place while we're right there and then buy some more wood after the, this crafting job has taken up a lot of the wood that we just bought. And then also buy a shipping bin for convenience and, uh, and then order the coop, the beginning of the construction of our first, um, uh, our first uh, farm animal building. Okay, then we take our 19 crab pots that we made earlier and we start setting them up at the river. In the video, I'll show you exactly where I think these nine crab pots should go for convenience sake. And then I'll show you where to put these 10 crab pots at the ocean. And then of course you put bait in them. Then it says head over to the secret forest. Uh, and, uh, and we've got a chair with us that, uh, that is going to allow us to kind of uh, clip in. Well, it's not really clipping, but anyway, it's uh, getting there earlier than we're supposed to. Uh, but we'll leave the chair there and we'll use it to get a bunch of hardwood, which is a really important early game resource for us. Then we'll head back to the farm and uh, craft enough furnaces to bring the total up to 28. And then we'll put more furnaces where they belong uh, and then make some more bars, uh, you know, iron bars and copper bars. Um, there's a glitch that I use involving uh, making phone calls, and so if you need money, then go ahead and apply the glitch right here. Uh, clear the area for the chests to the west of the planted area. Uh, so here's the planting area, and here's where I recommend you put all the chests. In this particular pattern, there's where the extra shipping bin is placed. Uh, and then uh, craft uh, nine more crab pots, put them into the farm pond. Uh, so I think we're going to put them like here and over here. And then uh, craft 37 chests and place them according to the map. So that's how many chests are sitting in this collection right here. And uh, these chests all look like they're the same color, but in the video um, I'll describe to you what I think the colors should be to make things a little bit easier. In fact, there's a whole tab right here explaining what color to make the chests and what kinds of items I like to put in the chests to stay organized. Every chest has a specific purpose. Uh, and then here it says empty your inventory and sort all your chests and mark uh, some things that you've collected on the spreadsheet. You'll see me do a ton of marking in the spreadsheet, so I'm not going to do that here. So that is a very full uh, day number two. Uh, but again, that's the kind of uh, uh, planning that you can expect here if you follow this video series. Uh, things are kind of hectic in the beginning of the playthrough, like the first couple of weeks in particular. Uh, and then things settle down uh, as we kind of get into a rhythm and, and figure out what we still need uh, later in this first season. So for example, here's day 23. You can see a much shorter list 
Uh, it's a reminder to uh, back up your work from day 22, a reminder to carry parsnips for gifts because who doesn't love parsnips, uh, a reminder to check your luck on the TV, and if it's a good or great luck day, then maybe consider spending a bunch of time in the mines. Uh, good luck days are great days for spending in the mines. Uh, and then uh, some beans are ready for us to harvest, so let's go ahead and harvest them on this day. Um, and then a reminder to pet your farm animals uh, until they're at the maximum uh, hearts, uh, maximum of five hearts. And there's a note here that says maybe uh, make any four bundles, uh, prioritize making bundles so that you can unlock the desert. I've actually already done this by the time I get to day number 23, but just a reminder. And then here it says, uh, see activities in the uh, killing time, uh, see the killing time activities in the miscellaneous tab. I'll show them in another video here in this introduction. But if you go in here, there's a whole long collection of things that you can do when you're just looking to kill time. You know, there's no specific task that you're after. Um, and, uh, and you just want to be productive until you pass out at 2 a.m. So uh, again, just wanted to give a sense of the uh, kind of meticulous nature of the plan that I'm laying out in this video series. For some of you, uh, you're going to look at this meticulous plan and say, why would you take a, a fun, relaxing game and just, you know, make it this ruthlessly efficient experience, which is like stressful and, and militaristic in nature. Uh, and uh, others of you will look at this and say, oh, this is exactly what I want to do. And I want to play super efficiently this game and collect everything in a, uh, in a, 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 uh, in a in an organized and planned manner. So hopefully uh, you figure out which of those two categories you're in, and uh, I hope this this plan helps uh, some of you experience this game in a way that you'd like to. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.